Welcome to The Bigger Deal. We have another three-minute insight for you. Do you know that thing that some eating joints do? You pick up the serviette and find it is surprisingly small and thin. And you're only given one. How does that happen? A member of staff sits down with a whole package of normal-sized serviettes and proceeds to cut each one in half. That's how. After that, the same person will probably proceed to water down the tomato ketchup. If you dilute them enough, the restaurant owner can probably get two or three bottles out of every one that he or she pays for. Which type of restaurant owner thinks this is a good idea? Well, the one who thinks you need to save money wherever you can. The one who thinks customers never notice these things. The one who thinks it's shrewd and sharp and cunning to cut corners. The dumb type, in other words. What proportion of a restaurant's costs come from the serviettes or the ketchup? Yet this is a saving that will be immediately noticed by the customer. Is it worth doing? Only on the planet where customers are sheep to be fleeced by providing the minimum possible experience that you can get away with. Which should not be planet Earth, but seems to be for way too many people. No wonder most restaurants fail. And yet, this behavior is not confined to eateries, nor to small businesses. How else do you explain banks that do nothing to mitigate queues? Brewers who mess with great recipes to reduce raw material costs? TV services that will keep you hanging on the telephone for an eternity. A business exists to serve customers. Serve them so well that they bond with the business, keep coming back to it, sustain it for decades. When this happens, employees earn good salaries and enjoy meaningful careers. And shareholders make handsome returns. Everyone's happy. It makes zero sense to trick customers to inconvenience them, to annoy them, to degrade their experience of your products. When you cut corners, you send two messages. One to your customers, that you are a petty little Scrooge who doesn't give a damn about their happiness. Two to your employees, that customers are just suckers who need to be tricked and shortchanged. Both of those messages confirm your future failure. So stay away from the shenanigans. They may be crafty, but they're not clever. Goodbye.